Today I'm going to share what I'm sewing this spring. Hello and welcome or welcome back to Sew Pomona. I'm Rebecca and I'm so glad you're here. On this channel, I love talking everything fashion and sewing with a focus on travel and capsule wardrobes. Um, if you haven't yet, I'd love it if you'd subscribe to the channel and give this video a like. All right, so let me show you what I'm working on. I have quite a few projects in the works. Um, we are going on vacation next week, and I'm hoping to get a few of these sewn up so that I can bring them on our trip. Now, I haven't sewn much the past few weeks. I've mainly been prepping projects. I did get one project finished, but um, yeah, so I thought today I would show you my process and how I go about doing my sewing projects. I have about seven or eight projects I'm working on right now, and I'm just gonna go through them, show you um, what patterns, what fabrics that I'm working with, and what my thoughts are behind them. So first up is a striped pant. I love wearing a nice striped loose weave pant when I'm at the beach, and um, I had a red striped pair that wore out, and so I wanted to remake them, and I found this really great fabric. I believe this is still in stock and they have it in a bunch of different colorways at Core Fabrics. Uh, this is a cream with a black hem stitched finish. Um, I believe it's a dead stock fabric, but it's really nice and light and airy. And that's what I like when I'm going to the beach. We are going to Cocoa Beach next week and I just wanted something simple I can wear with a tank top and be really comfortable. And the great thing with this is I can wear with black or cream or white, so really versatile. And I could throw on a color with this. So this is from the Van Lo set from How To Do Fashion. Um, I have made this before in a um, rose color. And um, I've made this before in a rose colored rayon. And so I thought I'd make it up in the cotton, but I did switch up the pattern a little bit. I will talk about this more next month's makes video, but I did add pockets, um, my own pocket pattern. Um, and then I also added a waistband on here. So what I did was I made the full pant, I tried it on, I saw where I wanted the waistband to sit, and then I cut it down to that level and added the waistband. I will say when I'm making pants, I like to add some extra length to the pant and I will do a larger hem. So I started out with a three inch hem and I will wear this once or twice um, and launder it. And then I will decide if I need to raise or lower it after that. Um, especially with cottons, I, you tend to get a little bit of shrinkage and I want my pant hem to be at the perfect length. So I just put it in with like a 3.0 stitch, um, really basic. It's not really finished, although I did cut this one um, on the salvage for the bottom. So just a really simple hem for now. All right, next one you might have seen, I've talked about it before on this channel. I am making a double gauze set of pajamas. I love double gauze, especially for PJs because it's so light and airy and it's really comfortable to wear. So I am making a three piece set. Um, one thing I did wanna show you is before I've sewn everything, I will cut out all my pattern pieces and I will put them aside so that when I wanna sew, I'm ready to go. So um, I will often uh, pre-serge everything and cut everything up and have it ready to go, um, interface things if they need interfacing. Now for this make, I am planning on doing, um, planning on enclosing all my seams. I didn't search this or anything. I'm just gonna sew it on the machine. Oh, let me tell you the pieces I am doing. So for this set, I'm gonna put up my inspiration picture so you can see the look I was going for. So I looked through my stash and I had this Lynn Mizono jacket. I believe this is still current. This is Vogue 1246. I am doing view A. I'm gonna put the line drawing up so you can see it. And I liked this one because it's a very simple tie front closure and um, just a nice light jacket. And I thought this would work really well with the material. And then I'm doing my favorite pajama pant. This is very easy Vogue 7645. I am making just the pant for this, but I love this PJ pant because it fits me really well. 
and it only has one seam, so there's no out seam on the pant. And then recently I got this Butterick pattern. This is 6647. It's Butterick's Essence Collection. And I thought this was a really cute set. I love the three-tiered skirt and the open back top. So I'm making the open back top. Um, this is probably a size too small for me, so I did add a little extra seam allowance when I was cutting this out. Um, but because it is open in the back, I don't think I'm gonna have a fit issue uh, because I am a little smaller on the top. Um, if I make the skirt, I will have to grade that out. So you can see I've got all my pattern pieces cut out. Um, and then this way, when I go to sew, it's really quick and easy. I just have to pull out my matching thread and I'm ready to go. Um, my double gauze is a mint and it's from Stone Mountain and Daughter. And I bought, at first I think I bought four or five yards and it shrunk up quite a bit when I washed it. So I went back and purchased the remaining yardage they had. And so now I can have a full set. I'll have the jacket, the PJ pants and a little cute tank top. Next, I know I've shown you on the channel, I have these sweatpants. And I love this um, bamboo fleece. This one's in the rose color. This one is in the rose colorway. This is from Core Fabrics. And these are super comfy. So I did want to bring them on my trip. And it is often very chilly when we're up at the house. We keep the house cool and it tends to get colder there at night. We're going up to Cocoa Beach. So it's a few hours, it's about three hours north to me. It's close to um, Cape Canaveral and Orlando. So I'm gonna be chilly at night. <laughs> I always am. So um, I showed two weeks ago when I was showing um, one of my capsule wardrobes, I showed my Style Arc Coral Cardigan. And it made me think about that pattern again because I really loved it and I wish I had used it again. So I went, I went through my stash and I had just enough fabric to cut this out. Um, the only change I had to make is I had to cut the neckband into two pieces and I'll have to piece that at center back. But other than that, I had just enough fabric. Like I had the tiniest scraps left. So I think this is gonna be really cute. I'm gonna put up the pattern so you can see it. Um, I believe this is a clearance pattern for Style Arc, but it's a really cute jacket. It did make my sleeves a bit wider because last, my last jacket, I felt like the arms were a little bit tight. So I really love the lines of this and the little insert piece and the pockets are super cute. And this is a bamboo stretch fleece in the rose colorway from Core Fabrics. All right, and then next, I have Vogue American Designer Calvin Klein 1885. I really wanted to make the full set, so I'm gonna make the pants and the jacket and I think later on in the season, I will make a blouse. Um, I like that this could be a woven or a knit blouse. So I really want to try it. I am making this, in, this is a size 14. It's a one size pattern. So I didn't want to make it out of my favorite fabric, but I did want to make a set that will be basically unwearable muslin. So this is my fabric. So I have the pant and the jacket both cut out. This is a textured viscose linen in this rose color way. All right, so I got the first set of yardage. I got like four yards from Core Fabrics and I had almost enough to make the full set. I was slightly short and um, I bought this fabric a really long time ago. So I didn't think I'd be able to find it anywhere, but I did an online search and I found some more at Style Maker. So I went back and bought two more yards and now I have a little bit extra, so possibly I can make another piece too. So I really lucked out. The fabric is an exact match. You really cannot tell the difference between one set of yardage and the next. So that is great. And I have my invisible zipper ready to go. And one thing I did want to show you is this is usually how I will pre-prep a project that I'm working on. You can see here, I have my pant pieces they're all pre-surged on the edges. Um, the only thing I usually don't serge is the waistband top edge because that will be fully enclosed. And I will often go through and like here, I have already sewn in all my main darts. So I go through on all the pieces, everything that had a dart has been pre-prepped. So now um, 
if I want to sew this, it's going to go together so quickly because everything is pre-prepped and I'm just putting together side seams, shoulder seams, putting in a zipper, really quick and easy. And um, because I do work from home, I don't have time to usually sew during the week. I'm usually sewing on the weekend. So what I will do is I may prep a project or two. Um, one day I may cut out a few patterns so that they're ready to go. Another day I will cut out all my fabric, put it in a pile, and then another day I'll serge the edges of everything. So that I'm kind of working in a, so that my sewing process is a little more efficient. And when I go to the sew on the weekend, I can do everything really quickly. And it makes my sewing time a little more fun because I'm just breaking out the sewing machine and going really quickly. Now, I'm gonna put up my inspiration image if I can find it or one similar that I found in a magazine. And so I am using, this is a Current McCall's pattern. It is M8090, I believe it's, or hashtag Marina McCall's. So I altered this slightly. I am doing B but I changed it up a little bit. So what I did was I put my, um, I put my front and back bodice pieces with the first ruffle and I extended it to one full length piece. I'm gonna do a blog post on this later in the season to show you how I altered the pattern to get the vision I was going for. So, um, so I altered this, I wanted a contrast on the, um, I wanted to make a contrast on the insert. So I am doing it, oh, if I can get these fabrics apart. So what I did was I ordered some poplin from Style Maker to match with this. This is Marcy Tilton, uh, a Lee Cotton Italian Woven, which I just love this color. It's kind of a lavender with a periwinkle and it leans more toward blue and it's really my favorite color. So what I'm gonna do is with the bands, I'm gonna do them a solid color and then it will also have a neck band that goes onto this. And then this edge will be bound off at center front. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do the outside in the periwinkle and the inside as this lavender. I'm gonna treat these as one fabric. So it's kind of like this. And when you flip it open a little bit, if it's open, you'll see that pop of color. And I think that's gonna look really nice. Um, I love this print, so I didn't want anything too fussy. I want a very simple, I wanted a very simple design that will show off this fabric. So um, my front panels are now a little longer, and then I'm gonna have two ruffles and a ruffle at the arm. And one other thing I changed up is um, each of those ruffles are cut into three or four pieces and then pieced together but I had a really long length of fabric from the yardage I ordered. So I did those as continuous pieces. So I will have less seams, which really will make the pattern show up a little better. So I love this color. I'm really excited to sew with this and I really wanna bring this on my trip. So this is front of the line for the projects I'm working on. I had a few trims in my stash that I'm gonna play around with and see what I wanna use. I have this ribbon from Mood it's in this in a lilac and cream houndstooth print. And uh, it's a very nice light ribbon. So I might use this on my interior trims. And then I do have some double fold cotton bias tape in Carnation, which is a really fun color pop with that. It's basically a shade lighter, maybe a little pinker. So I might use some of this bias trim to finish off edges. I love this uh, double fold bias. I love this double fold bias from Core Fabrics. Whenever I see some, I pick some up whenever I'm ordering because it always comes in useful for projects. I used a bunch of this on my um, Calvin wrap dress. I have two fitness things I'm working on. I just finished off this tank, which is basically just a simple sports tank. This is my self-drafted pattern. And I just wanted a really nice beachy tank top. So this is lined with blue swim material. And I will say when I am sewing this together, I like um, the swim material is very lightweight for the lining. So I tend to cut it uh, about a quarter inch smaller than the main fabric and then just sew the edges. Um, like I showed when I did my reversible tank for my dress pattern, 
Um, I have a whole tutorial on my blog on how I put this together. So this one just needs to be hemmed. I have, I am making a pair of leggings and a cropped swim top. And I want these to be workout clothes that also can go in the ocean. Um, whenever we go up to Cocoa Beach, we do yoga on the beach. Um, I do yoga pretty much every day with my husband. And so we love to do yoga while we're on the beach. It's great. But I usually have full length pants and they get sand all over them. So I was like, I'm gonna make a set out of swim material. Um, this is my practice set. And I think this swim material is gonna be just heavy enough that it's gonna be comfortable and supportive, um, but I can also wear it into the ocean. So I am making a Clara legging from Jolly. Um, it's just a simple one piece pant that has a crotch gusset and then it has a nice wide waistband. So I am doing the waistband in the brighter blue and then the main fabric in this um, almost a navy, it's pretty a pretty bright but dark blue. This is very easy, very Vogue, 7877. Um, just a simple racer back swimsuit. Thought rather than draft my own, I just pull something out of my stash. Um, I have all the fabric and pattern links below in the description if you wanna see them. So I am making this little crop top. It goes like that. And I'm going to make this reversible so I'm gonna sew it the same method I did my tank top. And then let me show you the back so that you can see it. Move this over. So it's just a simple racer back. It goes out like that. And um, because it's swim material and it's fitted, I don't really need the elastic in the arms or the neck because it's not low cut. And then I'm just going to add a band that will be enclosed. And then I'll add a band that will be enclosed with elastic. And um, that will go under the bust for a little bit of support. And then I'll probably leave it so that I can insert bra cups into it if I want. Because I'm in Florida, I sew a lot of swimwear. So I always keep a variety of elastics on hand. Um, I keep... I like a wider, like one and a half to two inch for um, under bust bands and waistbands. And then um, a nice uh, half inch to three eighths inch um, elastic for armholes, leg holes, that kind of thing. And I usually have enough in black and white or nude if I can find it so that I can make whatever I'm making that season. And then I keep a bunch of bra cups in stock, um, I have some in nude and some in black, so I have something to work with whatever swim fabric I'm using. And whenever, if I wanna sew a swimsuit last minute, I have everything I need. And I will say, I've been sewing swimwear for a while, so it comes together really, really quickly, and you need so little fabric to make everything. One reason I was using these colors is because I already had a bottom um, that I self-drafted, um, in this same colorway, uh, black lining with the blue exterior. And I really like how this bottom fits, but I don't have a top to go with it. So this way, this will be a very usable set. All right, so that is all my projects. Um, I probably won't get to all of them, but I'm hoping that I can sew up a few before we leave on our trip. I know I'll be able to get the swimwear done. That'll take hardly any time. And hopefully the PJs and the beach dress because I really do want to bring those on vacation. All right, come back next week. I am going to show what I am bringing on my trip. Um, I'm going to do a different capsule for this vacation than my last one. Um, my last one was just a visit to my mom's house. We were moving her into her home. So it was a much more casual trip. This one is kind of a family reunion at a beach house and we're right on the ocean. So my wardrobe is going to be very different. It's going to be more um, pretty outfits for going out, and then a lot of swim and yoga wear. Which project do you like the best? I'd love to know, and I'd love to know what you're working on right now. What are you sewing up for spring? Let me know below in the comments. All right, thanks so much for watching. Until next time, happy sewing.